What's up, everybody? Yo, I've been watching boxing for some years now. Watching it, try, you know, try to gave my hand at it. And the thing I like about uh, my favorite boxer, my favorite boxer, was Pinel Whitaker, Larry Holmes, and Evander Holyfield. And I, I love Sweet Pea, man. Sweet, I like Sweet Pea because he was a small guy, and you never seen Sweet Pea get beat up, and he was always tough. And it, but he's left-handed. I don't. I don't care for. I don't like left-handed fighters, because I think a lot of guys are naturally right-handed guys, and they learn how to fight left-handed as a way to to make the sport easier for them. And that's what I was saying about Crawford, as far as him switching this stuff. You know, Sweet P is a southpaw and he was slick. Zab Judah was a southpaw, real slick. And I think Corey Spinks, he was a southpaw, he was a slick fighter. Most southpaw fighters are real slick. But, you know, like when you walk into a gym, you can't, when you first walk into the gym, you're right handed. Most people, average people are right handed. So when they walk into a gym and they want to know how to fight, they stand in a, um, they usually stand in a southpaw stance, you know, because that's their strong hand. But they don't realize that your strong hand goes in the back and your weak hand goes in the front. That's, you know, like if you're right-handed, you stand, you stand with your left foot in your front, with your right foot in the back. You know, because that's your power hand, your right hand. And most guys seem like they learn, most right-handed guys seem like they learn how to box southpaw because they think it's going to give them an advantage. Like, like Crawford. Spence is southpaw, but Spence don't, he, he doesn't switch. He doesn't switch. Crawford always switching. And a lot of times, guys switch stands because they think it's going to give them an advantage. But like I always said, you only got one head. You only got one head. So that switching shit don't mean nothing. You know, and I think uh, the thing about Crawford, when he switches, he keeps his feet wide apart. And if, and if Errol Spence is smart, he'll get in the middle of that wide stance and beat him to the punch every time when he goes to throw punches. If he's smart, you know, and if, and if his team tells him that, I'm going with Spence. That that Crawford machismo, ma, machismo being macho, you know, that street shit don't mean nothing in the ring. Because once you start getting pain, is the great persuader, and everybody feels pain. So, like I always said, I'm going, I'm going with Spence. It's not that he's a quiet guy either. I just think he's a better boxer. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. He burned in the street. He burned in the street. All right, tell me, I'll check that in because I got to wash it and use the blade. What's up, everybody? Like always, pushing my book. Corner stores in the middle of the block. Uh, don't beat your children or they'll turn out like me and agitation gets the dirt out. That's three books of poetry and my hook book is called Pretty Ugly, A Harlem Situation. Um, you can use cash out to get a copy. Dollar sign, number one, Brad Bathgate. Inbox me if you want to know more about them.